Next comedian coming to the stage is hilarious. He's originally from Ohio. He's here in Los Angeles now. Put your hands together for the very funny Mason Pryor. I owe somebody money in this bitch. How y'all doing? Good. Yeah. Woo wee. Merchandise. Somebody's gonna win this by the end. I'm just letting y'all know. I brought gifts. I bought gifts. Who's showing titties? They're the front runners. All I'm saying. Have you uh, been watching the news? Me neither. Fuck them. But one thing I do watch is Sports Center, and something I watched the other day was very interesting to me. I was watching First Take, hey, and they told me the most ridiculous shit. Michael Jordan's talking about coming back. <laughs> Michael Jordan's 50 years old. I watched Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless talk for 20 minutes about Michael Jordan's comeback as if this shit is really gonna happen. <laughs> At 50 years old. Ma'am, how old are you? Thank you. <laughs> At 50 years old. My mother is 50. She cannot drop her baby weight from 90s with my youngest sister. You telling me Michael Jordan's gonna get out there and play in the court? At how old? 50. 56. So you telling me, do you realize how bad that's gonna be? If Michael Jordan comes back, not only would be the first athlete to ball out with an AARP card, but he's literally gonna be the reason we raise retirement. Like what is it now, like 68? How can you complain? Michael Jordan's still playing. Like, go to work, fuck that. <laughs> it kills me, because it's like, they say all of this really is all over because he's a girl with some ridiculous expectation because she's never seen him play basketball. So she wants to see this shit. <laughs> Why Michael Jordan has something to prove to this bitch? <laughs> she's 20 years younger, he needs to get her the, mad, the next foot basketball game. She, he's in the shit, I know she plays, she's 12, like. I've never seen you play ball. Well, here's an Xbox, bitch. <laughs> I hear, log on, just username, play me. I'll tell y'all some ridiculous shit. I'm at the club. It was a nice night, enjoying myself, had a few drinks, was talking to some people. This girl's gonna come up to me and tell me, you know what, I like you, but I like a nigga to have 12 inches to fuck with me. What am I, a horse? <laughs> like, white people, I'm black, and I don't have 12 inches. That's not a common thing. You know, black people, oh, we got the biggest. No, 12 inches is ridiculous on any race. <laughs> Me and this enormous black man back here together don't have 12 inches. <laughs> <laughs> now, maybe th me, him, and him, now that might happen. Like, I'm just. 12 inches? Could you imagine if a dude really had a 12 inch dick? That's like a dick. It's not just a bone, it's not an attachment we just put on and come in with the dick. We have to literally have blood flow, go to our dick, grow, get hard. The dude would pass the fuck out before he'd even get in the pussy. He'd be like, coming in the bed, yeah, baby, you ready for this dick? Yeah, touch all over, oh.